Hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How about evening. you? Hello, good evening. Okay, thank you for being here. Hello, you. I'm okay. Rafael, Zuma, hey. Jose, Mercy. Let's see who else. Noel, Jose Isaias, Claudia, Alejandra, and Porfirio. Very good. Now, I was checking that you had some questions, right? About the platform. Yes. Okay, perfect. So we are going to check that right now. Uh, and also we are going to review the, the present the report speech just to check if you have any problem or if you have you still have questions about that we can check it if you want to so uh the section two it's actually uh present perfect but it's a simple pass we are going to look um check all of these topics uh this week hopefully we are going to finish them and you had questions about this i don't know if, if it was about section two This section. Do you have any questions about this or which section? Because we have this is about uh, present perfect and past. And we had also present perfect versus perfect perfect continuous. Right, that is 2.5. That two is kind of 12. two point twelve. Oh, two point twelve. Yes. This one listening. Yes. It says instructions to an interview with an actor Tom Wiley. What jobs does he talk about? Just type in the job he mentions. No capital yeah. letter or period is needed. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. It's because it's not manner to to answer. We put a, a grocer, painter, every every job that he mentioned in the type, but no one is correct. Just Let's taxi see. driver. Just just taxi driver. Taxi driver. Let's yes, see. this is the only is... one. Department store clerk. Let's see. And house painter or house painter. Uh, yes. Let's see. Oh uh, yes, this this would this will be the 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 uh, the answer. Okay. Taxi okay. driver, department store clerk, and house painter. Okay. I don't know if sometimes there is a problem because when I write the right answer, it's it always get me wrong. So not not sure if something happened with the platform in some exercises because yes. in, yeah yes in some exercises it is it is not very uh, it is not correct like some it is because of the platform. And I have reported it already, and but I didn't know if you have any problems. If you have problems in section two, let me know also, and I will report that because I think that they still have problems with this. But in part 2.12, this will be the answers. Taxi driver, department store clerk, and house painter. No period and no capital letter. Yeah. Okay, any other question? In the midterm exam. Midterm, okay. Let's see if it loads. Okay, we have uh, A, a listening. We have B, choose the words. C, choose the quotations. D, complete the sentences. And E, readings. Mm. Rewrite infinity or general phrases is the 
the first one began with it's appropriate to talk about politics at work or at school. Let me see here. And is the A, B, C, D, or E? No, yes, uh, no. Mm -mm. Because the A is a listening, the B is choose the words. You just need to choose the word for each sentence. C, no, choose the that. quotation. Uh, letter C. Mm -hmm. C. Okay, choose the quotations. I need to resolve literal C. Okay. Let's see. It says choose the phrase that best completes each sentence. Remember capital letters and periods when needed. Don't touch the oven. It's hot. She told me not to touch the oven. Not to. Did he ask her to come? Kim wanted to know if he asked her to come. You shouldn't eat that. Sam encouraged me to, Sam advised me. Interrupting is rude. He explained that interrupted is rude. Uh -huh. This product works. The ad claimed that the product, it's a teacher, estaré como oyente. Okay, Nady. This product works. Uh, the ad claimed that the product works. The ad warned us. Mm -hmm. You should start a blog. Laura told me to start a blog. Laura, Laura encouraged me. Oh, this one, part part two. Read yes. the quotations, complete the sentences and reported speech. I'm writing with Julia. He told me. He was writing with Julia. Period. Let's see. Nancy has never been asking. He said Nancy had never been asking. Skin. Sorry. Is anyone ready to leave? She asked if anyone was ready to leave. Pam lost a lot of weight. My mother told me that Pam had lost a lot of weight. This is reported speech, right? Let's see. Incorrect, incorrect, okay, let's see, let's show the response. Nancy had never been skinned. In the first week. Oh, the first one, sorry. He was writing with, with? right, sorry. Okay, correct. And this one, Pam has lost a lot of weight, let's see. Pam lost a lot of weight, lost a lot of weight, had lost a lot of weight. It's the one that I wrote, right? But he's not accepting it. Pam lost a lot of weight or that Pam lost a lot of weight or that Pam had lost a lot of weight. Okay, you can write Pam lost a lot of weight. Let's see. Period. Okay, yes, that one. So the first one is he was writing with Julia. The number two, Nancy had never been skinned. Period, right? Three, if anyone was ready to leave. And four, Pam lost a lot of weight. Okay, perfect. So those be those will be the, the answers for her. For the reported speech, yes. but we are going to check right now reported speech just in case you had uh, some uh, questions. And this one is, these are the, are the the options for. 
for um, letter C for midterm, right? Section two. So uh, do you have any other question about the... I, the I have a, I have a, another one. Mm -hmm. Isn't the, in the midterm exam two, mm -hmm. is when rewrite the sentence using infinity or zero. The mm -hmm. number three, it's, uh, it's not correct for me. I put is uh, rewriting re rewrite the sentence using infinity or zero phrases. Remember to use the capital letters in periods. Is appropriate is appropriate to talk about politic uh, work on the school. That is in a uh, midterm. Yeah, midterm. And it's an A, B, C, or D. Uh, I don't really. I take a picture. Let me see. Yes, Rafael here is saying section D, number section four D. and five. Let's see section. Let's see four and five. Number Sam and Sue got married on Sunday. The next day they went went four and five had never tasted four had never tasted didn't know number five didn't know found never had let's see and gave Okay, yes, those will be, these are uh, with the tenses, right? We are going to cover that in just, just in case that you have problems with that. Esto lo vamos a cubrir esta semana. So it is normal that you have problems with this. This is a uh, simple pass. This is simple pass, simple pass. This is present pass perfect. Simple pass and simple past. Yes. Um... Okay, do you have any other questions about the midterm? Yes, it's, uh, I, I don't know exactly what letter is mm -hmm. when I have troubles, but uh, it's... Uh, uh, Can you share your screen? Are you, see, are you seeing it right now? Yes, I, I, am, I am seeing you. Okay, because if you want to, you can share your screen just to check. Okay. Let me see. Um. Okay, I can see your desktop now. Let me look for... Uh, I am... Mm -hmm. No, 
No, I'm sorry. I, okay. I... <laughs> okay, look for it. Okay, pardon. And take pardon. the screenshot. Take a screenshot and you can send it to my WhatsApp, okay? Okay. Okay. And I will I will answer you if it is possible after the class or tomorrow, no problem. I will try to answer you. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Now uh, we are going to start with, well, we are going to review the reported speech because I can see that you had some problems with the reported speech. And it's normal because it's kind of complicated. So that's what, that's what we're going to check right now. Let me see here. So, um, hopefully we are going to finish with this, with the reported speech. It doesn't matter if we don't start section two uh because i think that we can cover it in three days so what we are going to do right now is this is section two i already have it there and this is uh section one okay so last week we were checking about gerunds and infinitives hopefully you don't have more questions about that and also we were uh studying the reported speech that uh, we use to tell, say, and ask uh, to repeat an order or repetition that someone else made or said, right? Some To say something that somebody else said, right? Said to us or said to somebody else. And we were checking this, right? The tenses, los tiempos, right? Uh, so simple present, simple past, right? Simple past, past perfect, past perfect, past perfect, uh, present continuous, past continuous, present perfect, past perfect, will, would, can, could, may, might, and must, had to. This is the way that the, the tenses change, right? So as you can see, um, yes, the past perfect is the only one that doesn't change. I had taken the test, right? Luna said that she had taken the test. So we are going to practice right now with this uh, this reported speech. It doesn't have to be like like correct, right? But for example, we have see we have here direct speech, right? Bring me the suitcase, please. So bring me the suitcase, and the reported speech is. He told me to bring him the suitcase. So we are going to practice just a couple of them because there are, they are a lot. Okay, so for example, uh, if somebody, uh, for example, turn the TV off, please. She told me, right, to turn the TV off, right? So next one, let's see. It says, send me the reports this afternoon, please. So my boss told me, and what will be the reported speech? Mi jefe me dijo que, what did she say? What did she tell me? That what, uh -huh. my boss to told me, me, told me that to send, uh, told me to send the report is, uh, this afternoon. Uh -huh. My boss told me to send the reports this afternoon. So in this case, uh, we just add told, right? My boss told me, right? Very good. Let's see next one. Don't panic and go west to the next road. So let's say that uh, my classmates told me that, right? Don't panic and go west to the next road. We are going to use they. What would be the reported speech for don't panic and go west to the next road with they? They. They told me to don't told panic. Me. They told me? To Not don't to. panic. Okay, let's see. They told me, and then what else, Porfirio? 
they told me to do not panic. They told me to do not panic. And go west to the next road. Okay, they told us or they told me not to panic, right? Why? Because when we use a negative, right? And I told you don't panic or don't close the door. Or if I told you don't speak loud. Oh, the teacher told me not to. So it changes. Uh, you're not going to say the teacher told me uh, don't uh, or do not uh, speak aloud, right? Or do not jump. So not to, right? It changed into the negative infinitive, right? Not to. So be careful. So don't change into not to. Okay? So they told us not to panic and go west to the next road. Let's see next one. Don't sell the car before talking to me. So let's say that my father told me that, right? So what would be the reported speech? Like he? My father, my father said, said that, that sell me not, not to, to take the car. Uh, my father sell, sell? me sell not to talk not to not sell not to talk to not talk to him to me uh, <laughs> yeah, I <confused>. okay <laughs> I so my father my father told me don't sell the car before talking to me right you understand the the sentence right don't sell the car before talking to me no vendas el auto antes de hablar conmigo. Entonces, mi padre me dijo que no vendiera el auto antes de hablar con él, ¿verdad? How do you say that in English? He told me. He told me not. Not to sell the car. Not, not to sell the car uh -huh. before talking to, to him. Exactly. He said not or he told me not to sell the car before talking to him. Very good, exactly, you see? So it is kind of confusing, but once you are practicing, you start um, getting used to it, right? So let's see the next one, just to check the last one, let's see. Can you explain the exercise one more time? So let's say that I, let's say that I am the teacher and the students ask me that, right? Can you explain the exercise one more time? What would be the reported speech? I'm not the sure. Students. But it could be uh -huh. the teacher. No, the uh, students. They. Uh -huh, they. Ask me. Mm -hmm. If I could explain the exercise one more time. Let's see. Very good. They or the students asked me to explain, or if I could, right, to explain the exercise one more time. Very good. Very good. Uh, I, I agree with that answer that you, you did before, right, that you, that you told me before. But the students asked me, right, because it's a question. He asked me, and me preguntó, right? He asked me, or they asked me, right? To explain the exercise one more time. Or they uh, asked me if I could explain the exercise one more time. I can say it in that way also. Let's see one more. Could you please take me to the train station? So let's see that uh, one girl asked me that, right? Could you please take me to the train station? What will be the reported speech? The girl or she. What else? She. She asked to me. me. Uh, no, she, she asked, asked me. me. Uh -huh, she uh -huh. asked me. Yes. She asked me if I could. Mm -hmm. to take she, asked, 
she, she asked me if I could take her to the train station. Let's see. Okay, the, that girl or she asked me to take her, very good, to the train station. Or if I could take her to the train station is correct also. Very good. So you see, very good. So we are going to practice a little bit more. I just wanted to, for you to check that, to practice with that. I will share all this information at the end of the class, okay? So no problem, no worries about that. So just to review, um, and these are some exp expressions, right? For example, uh, he claimed or he asked me to, he warned me to, he promised to, he wanted to know, right? These are some expressions that somebody told me, right? Or somebody, he told me that, or he told me to. So we can use different ways to say the report or to um, to express the reported speech, right? He advised me to, he encouraged me to, he wondered, right? So very good. Just to review, these are the reported speech sentences, right? Uh, we have reported, the direct statements and the reported statements. Let's see, um, Raphael, can you read the first three, please? I like traveling and then the reported, the reported speech. Sorry, sorry, repeat again, please. Yeah, can you read the first three sentences, like the direct statements and the reported statement, please? Okay, I like traveling. She said, she said or that she liked traveling. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm leaving tomorrow. He told he told her that he was leaving the next day. Mm -hmm. I always love you. He said that he will always love you, love me. Very good, very good. So you can see there. Uh, how it changes, right? The direct statement, I like traveling. Oh, she said that she liked traveling. That is optional, right? If you want to, you can write it, you can use it. If you don't want to, right, you can omit it. I'm leaving tomorrow. He told her that she was leaving the next day, right? So in reported speech, tomorrow is the next day. I'll always love you, right? He said that he will always love me, right? And let's see the last, the other... One, two, three, four, five. We have five. Uh, Claudia, Marcela, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Can, can you read the rest of the of the uh, sentences, please? Okay. <clears throat> um. Where well, I'm sorry. Where? <laughs> I pass. I passed the exam from. I passed. Okay, the sorry, sorry. Yeah. I passed the exam. Um, she told me that he, she passed the exam. Mm -hmm. Next I one. Forget. Uh, she told me she, she had passed the exam. Mm -hmm. Next one. Um, I've forgotten my keys. Mm -hmm. He said he had forgotten his keys. Mm -hmm. I can't come. She said she couldn't come. Mm -hmm. I may be late. He said he might be late. I must go. And she said that she had to go. Very good. Very good. Perfect. So as you can see, this is how the tenses change, right? Pass, had passed, right? Forgotten. He had forgotten his keys, right? Can't, couldn't, may, might, and must, had to, right? I must go. She said she had to go. Very good. Uh, no questions about this, right? Preguntas, questions? Anyone? Let's see. That is optional. Exactly, Jose. That is optional. If I want to, I can say she said she liked traveling or she said that she liked traveling. It's optional, exactly. It says we use reported speech to report or to tell another person what someone said. When the reporting verb said, told, 
is in the past tense. The tense is in the sentence that is being reported usually change like this. Like with the, the things that we have been doing, right? Present to past, will to would, simple past to present perfect. Um, Some tenses don't change, right? When you report what some, someone said very soon after they said it, the tenses often uh, stay the same as in the original sentence. Como que si ha sido muy reciente, entonces lo pueden decir así como lo acaban de decir las personas, ¿verdad? No tienen que usar el reported speech. For example, I can come tonight. I've just spoken to Adam and he said that he can come tonight. So in these cases, they don't change because it's really recent, right? Es muy reciente y se puede usar esta opción, el direct speech. I really enjoy my trip. Jack told me that he really enjoyed his trip. So in this case, they don't change. It's the same because it's really recent. That is the, the option, right? The, the exception. And as you can see, modal adverbs change, right? Uh, or some others, they stay the same, right? So can changes into could, may, might, must, had to. But if you already if you are already using could, might, or should, they stay the same. And also the pronouns. Be careful with the pronouns. If I say I like jazz, or Jane said that she liked jazz, right? And as Jose uh, said already, using that after said or told is optional. Very good. So actually, that will be like the main uh, instructions. Um, also, be careful with say and tell. Uh, don't say he said me, right? He said me, no. He said, and that's it, right? Then we say what he was saying. He said he was tired, right? No, he said me, no. Or she said me, no. That is incorrect. She told me it's correct. She told me, he told me that is correct. And then we say what, what the other person say. And also, um, if it is a question, right? It's, uh, it's a request, right? Uh, are you married? She asked me, right? Es una pregunta. Ella me preguntó. Did she call? He asked me, right? Whether she had called. What's your name, right? I asked him what was his name. Where do you live? He asked me where I live. In these cases with uh, questions, we are going to use ask, right? Not tell. No me dijo, sino que me preguntó. Ella me preguntó, right? Okay. Uh, it's 8.33 and I still need you to practice. But right now, do you have any questions about this? Preguntas? Questions? No, right? Very simple. Okay. We are going, this this was, go, this was going to be a homework for today, but we were not able to finish, but we are going to do it right now. Um, we are not going to share a, a class. We are going to keep it simple. Um, what we are going to do is just to talk about our day. What did we do today? ¿Qué hicimos hoy? We are going to work in trios again, just to practice the reported speech. Uh, the last time, right? La última vez, because last time we were not able to practice it. So, and you are going to say three things or four things, right? For example, I wake up and prepare coffee. I went to the university or I went to my work. Um, then I watch TV and then I came back, I came back home and I prepare dinner. Okay. So try to write... Uh, the things that the other person is saying. And then you're going to tell me what um, your classmate said, okay? Using the reported speech. Uh, do you have any questions about this activity? Lo que vamos a hacer, preguntas? Any question? Pueden usar sus micrófonos todos, o la mayoría? Yeah. Yes. Yes? Okay. Okay, vamos a trabajar en tríos, uh, just in case, right? Um, so, vamos a hablar de nuestro día y después ustedes me van a contar qué le dijeron sus compañeros usando el reported speech. Just to check if we have understood and if we still have uh, questions because we have we have here some uh, exercises, but I want you to practice. I, I need everybody to practice this because this will be the last time and I just want to make sure. I will create the rooms right now. Just allow me one moment, please, because I don't find it here. 
Okay, it's here. And we are, let's see, 18. Okay. Okay, we are, we are going to work in trios, okay? I will give you 10 minutes. 10 minutos, okay? 10 minutes. You can start working right now. I take my breakfast at 8 a.m. Um, number two, I am at 10 a.m. I go out with my friends. In the afternoon, uh, I take a cup of coffee at 3 p.m., for example. Okay, uh, so just repeating, uh, you wake up at 8 a.m., right? I take my, my breakfast uh, at 8 a.m. Okay, and then uh, you prepare coffee, right? Yes, but that was in the afternoon. Yeah, that, and in the middle? I'm sorry, but I didn't hear. Uh, Okay, uh, at, at 10 a.m., I go uh -huh. with my friends. Okay, okay. Um, okay, um, talking about me, uh, first of all, I woke up at 6 a.m., and then I work in solving, so about uh, fill up all the information and the platform of the government. In order to get the the solve solvency, I don't know if the same in English solvency solvency. And then in the afternoon, I I enjoy my classes online. Let me see. From one thirty p.m. to six p.m. And that in my last doing my homework, and after I went to work, and after to work, I I had other class of the university, and after I I was dinner, and after. I was class in the English corporative. Okay. Um. Sorry. Uh. I. I just catch. That you got up at eight a.m. Right. The, but sorry. Five a.m. Five a.m. Yes, because I study for the exam. <laughs> uh, okay. 
<laughs> so you get up too early. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so you study for an exam. I don't know if you study online. Or, or do you have to go to, to the university? Oh. I am, I am my boss. Oh. I I am a work a worker too. I am a supervisor. <laughs> I I I got up I got up I by a.m. Oh, okay. And I supervise I supervise the milking cow milking cows, el ordeño de las vacas, and then okay. I I. I, I go, I put to, to other people uh, to provide that he was cleaning a, something like a swimming pool, but it's a place that I have fish. I have oh. small fish growing. Okay. okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. And I supervise and I was grow and I was uh, planting some frutal uh, trees. Arboles frutales like mangoes, like uh, uh, lemon, uh, really? sapotes. Wow. Because, because I, am, I, am, I, I am, I am, I am growing, I am planting this kind of fruit because I have, I have lost some of them with the wet, with the climate, with the hot climate in, in this part of the country. That is La Unión. It's oh, really, really hot here, really yeah. hot, really yeah. very hot, really hot. <laughs> yes, I. I don't like. I, it. <laughs> yes, I. But I am changing the wet, the weather in this in this small place because. Uh, where do you work? Sorry. Where do you work? I um, work at TOG, the office gurus. Ah, okay, okay. It's a call center. Yes, it is. In or in what area? Well, I'm call center agent. I'm working a solar energy account oh. as a customer service. Ah, agent. customer. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's in Santa Tecla. No. Oh. Um, well, are two of them. One is uh, a, 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 a package, post office. Um, a part of the post office. Sí, okay, ya lo tengo. Uh -huh. Ya, ya lo tengo. Okay, gracias. Aquí esperemos. Yo creo que ya llaman también. De verdad. Okay. Ah, no, no, todavía no, todavía no. no. Sí. The market, okay. The market, um, Office. Okay, ya lo tengo. Ya lo tengo. Okay. Bueno. Lo suyo sería he told me that 
Certified coffee plant. Uh -huh. eh, es, 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 eso se, se necesita para repoblar el café, ¿no? Para repoblar áreas de café. Entonces, para, para que se ubique un poco ahí el, el contexto. Uh -huh. O sea, la gente para venderlo, eh, alguien tiene que certificar las plantas. Esa es la función. Mí en este caso. Este, como dando el aval que está. Es, sí, es certificando que está libre de plagas y enfermedades y que está apta para, para poder ser, eh, que alguien compre y pueda sembrar en su parcela. ¿no? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Importante, no vamos a tomar cuenta. ¿no? <risa> sí, así que eh, sí. A él le puedo hablar de la calidad de los cafés. ¿Le gusta el café, Zulma? No mucho. Que por eh, no mucho porque este mi sistema inmunológico lo rechaza. Ah, ya, ya, se ha perdido. Ya. Okay, welcome back. Okay, now we are just going to share what uh, your classmate said, right? And I just need a volunteer, just in case, uh, uh, just to, to provide the reported speech, right? What they told you about it. So who wants to begin right now? Uh, me teacher. Okay, so who did you talk to? No sé si logramos el objetivo. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Entendimos un poco. Okay. Sería. He told me that certified coffee plants in many north cities. What else did he, he if, told you? Excuse me? Yes, what else? Sorry, go ahead. Ah, okay. To see if the sendlings are suitable no sé si dice así, for producing coffee. Okay, uh, if, the, the, if the what, uh, sorry? Uh, he told me that certified coffee plant mm -hmm. in many new cities mm -hmm. to see if the sandlings are what is sandlings este bueno el compañero me decía para ver si como que las plantas están aptas para para producir el café Ah, okay. If the plants are suitable Ajá. to produce coffee, right? Ajá. Entonces, in en Spanish, 
O sea, que él me dijo de que certificó su trabajo, plantas, las plantas de café en muchos viveros. Para ver si las plantitas estaban aptas para producir el café, me decía el compañero. Ok, how do you say vivero in English? Eh, no cities? No, no. Vivarium. Vivarium. Ok. Ok, Vivarium. Sí. No podía entrar, tenía problemas de conexión. Ok, Jensi, no problem. Ok. Thank you. Uh, ok, Zuma, very good. Uh, and who were you talking to, Zuma? Hello. Erasmo. Okay. Uh, okay. Listo. Um, what did she uh, tell you? Uh, yes. Um, she told she told me that uh, I job at um, the market. Um, picked up a uh, package on the post uh, office. She she told you that she picked up. Uh, some packages in the post office. In the post office, yes. Okay, and what else? Only that. Uh, I'm sorry, no, no, no. Pregunté eso. Okay. So, oh, yeah. este, este, yo le dije que había hecho muchas cosas, pero él me dijo que solo dos. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very good. Very good. No problem. Uh, Erasmo, choose someone else, please. Escoja alguien más de sus compañeros. Ah, Choose someone okay. else. Yeah, um, uh, a ver, uh, Claudia Marcela. Claudia Marcela, very good. Claudia Marcela, who did you talk to? Okay. Um... Okay. Uh, he said he had woken up at 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. And the other one is he said he had gone out with his friends at 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. To 12 p.m. Mm -hmm. And finally, he told me he had prepared and drunk coffee. Yeah. Okay. Yes, Okay, very good. And who do you talk to? Who do you talk to? The, finally. Yeah, the name. Who was this person? Ah, yeah, yeah. Es, oh. Jose Isaias. Yeah. Jose, Jose Isaias. Yeah. Okay, Jose. And what uh, did Claudia told you? Okay, teacher. Uh... Well, she told me that she got up at 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. uh, she told me that she worked in the morning, all the morning. And the last one, she told me that she received her classes online all afternoon. Okay. Very good. When we talk about uh, all the morning, we can, say, we can say it like that, but it is better if we say the whole morning, right? The whole morning, W-H-O-L-E, whole, whole morning. So she studied the whole Thank morning. You. Perfect. Jose, choose someone else, please. Uh, let me check. Uh, Mercy, I'm good. Okay, Mercy, who did you talk to? Uh, I spoke with... Uh, Rosa Maria and Diego. Okay, and what, what did they do? What did they say? Uh, well, I don't know what happened with Rosa Maria because uh, she left the room, but I, I heard her. Um, she told me she got up at 5 a.m. today and to study for her exam that's the only thing that i that i that you wrote. Uh, yeah um 
with Diego, uh, Diego told me he got up at 6 a.m. Later, he took breakfast. Mm -hmm. And later on, he studied online. Mm -hmm. uh, he took uh, online classes mm -hmm. until 11 30. Mm -hmm. Then he had lunch. Mm -hmm. And after that, at 3 p.m., he took classes again. Mm -hmm. until the 6 p.m. It's at 6 p.m. he has dinner. Okay, very good, perfect. And Diego, what did Mercy tell you about her day? Diego, are you there? Let's see. Diego Anthony Melendez Mayan. Can you hear me? Hello, yes, yes. Okay, can you tell me uh, what uh, did she tell you? What did Mercy tell you about her day? Oh, um... she said me. She told me. She or she me. said to me, uh huh. She said to me also, uh huh. Uh, she told me she worked uh, in in day, mm -hmm. and uh, she after. Uh, go to bueno stay at home mm -hmm. and watch TV mm -hmm. then uh, she rest uh, in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. And that's it. And she had her classes of English. Mm -hmm. And in this. <laughs> okay. And that's it. <laughs> yes. Okay. Very good. She rested, right? That she rested. Remember that we yes. uh we changed the tenses, right? So if you say if you say something into in, in present, you need to change it into past, right? And so on. So uh, very good. You did it very well. Actually, I think that you have understood the idea of the reported speech. If you still need some um, practice, right? You can practice with your classmates because you can take advantage of that that you are all together in a group. Also, we have this exercise that unfortunately we were not able to complete them. But if you want to, you can complete them as a homework if you still have time during the day because I know that you work, you study different things, right? So if you want to, I, I just share this information and uh, you can check it, right? Um, yes, please, teacher. Exactly. I, I just share it in the group and the WhatsApp group. In the WhatsApp group, I, I share the, the link. And if you want to, you can work with this, right? It says complete the sentences using the reported speech. You can write it in your notebook. Also this one, right? Complete the sentences using the reported sp speech. It says, mi conexión estuvo mala, por lo que ya no me permitió entrar a clase. Okay, no problem, I understand. Actually, that's a huge problem, the connection and everything. Sometimes it's raining and it's worse, so I understand. So you, we can check it tomorrow if you want to. If you do this, we can check it tomorrow. If you don't do it, no problem, you can do it later. And I will share this, info. well, actually, I just shared this information with you. And tomorrow, we are going to start working in section two. So if you have any problem, or any question about this or the platform or anything, just let me know. And we are going to solve it in the class so everybody will be able to, to listen to it, okay? Uh, do you have any other question right now? Any other comment? Preguntas, comentarios, algo más?
No? No. Ok, perfect. So, uh, yes, go ahead. Y hoy comenzó el curso, que no nos notificaron algunos, no nos notificaron nada. Yes, I'm sorry, Zero. El curso comenzó la semana pasada, el lunes. No sé por qué no les habrán notificado, porque a todos los que se inscriben les mandan correo y les mandan esta información y los agregan automáticamente al grupo de WhatsApp. Sí, aún a Jackson le mandé un mensaje porque la gente que no nos habían, porque antes de Semana Santa le mandamos toda la información y no nos habían informado, pero no me, hasta hoy me doy cuenta de que. <risa> hasta hoy me. Sí, hasta pero. Por los vamos... mensajes. Sí, vamos empezando, uh -huh. así que eh, ya la información, eh, solo vimos dos temas, la sección one, la sección uno, puede empezar a realizarla si quiere para que no se le trace y esta semana vamos a empezar con la sección dos. Ok, voy a hacer la, la, la plataforma entonces. Ok, very good. So if you don't have more questions, I will see you tomorrow at eight, ok? Ok. Ok, see you, have a nice evening. Yes, bye-bye. 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 Bye. Good evening. Bye. Good evening. Good evening. Bye. Good evening. Bye.